This is... A t and Production. We all heard the stories growing up. We all knew the legend. Roach Road. The most haunted road in America. And for most of my life, that's all it was. Legends. Stories. Myths. Tales told to scare the shit out of kids. That was until that fateful night where I actually traveled down that road. The memories of that night would haunt me for the rest of my haunted, scary life. It all began on a warm summer's night. Great night to be out on the road. So I thought... Presents the legend of Roach Road. Man, listen, Warren, I'm bored as hell, man. We've been up all night driving around this stupid town. There's nothing to do. I might as well just go home, man. It's a Friday night. We're just wasting gas. What, what are we doing? We're going to do something tonight or what? There's no party. There's nothing in this deadbeat town. Well, there's got to be something we can do. It's, it's only uh, 7.30 here. There's, there's got to be something going on around this town. It's... I can't retire this early. Ah, come on, we're not we're not using our brain thoughts here. We gotta we gotta think of something good. Come on, come on, think, 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 think. I'm telling you, there's nothing going down. I talked to everybody at school this weekend. It's dead. I mean, well, you know, my older brother and his friends said they went down to uh, Roach Road not too long ago. Said it was real spooky. I think they said they even thought they saw a ghost down there. I mean, I don't know if that's all malarkey, but <laughs> got nothing else to do. What do you think, man? Should we cruise on over, check it out ourselves? Uh, you know what? That doesn't uh, sound like too bad of an idea. I, I, I know the stories about that place. They say uh, people bury bodies there, Nazis, the Ku Klux Klan, clown meetings, all the scariest things in the world, including ghosts. Yeah, I say we check it out, see what's going on down there. All right, let's go. Let's hop in a ride, start this thing up. We're going to go on down to Roach Road, find ourselves a ghost. Yee-haw! Crack me open a road soda. And now we're thinking. Cheers, buddy. Okay, I think this is it here. That street sign. Say it. Coach Road. This is ten miles of long, dark road, wooded on either side. Before we go in, spark up a doobie. I think we should get a little funky before we jump on this monkey. Oh, I don't know. You know, last time we smoked, remember, I got all paranoid and, you know, I started freaking out. There, I was like, uh, you know, did I, did I leave the lights on? So I went outside to check and the lights weren't on. So then I, I went back inside and then I couldn't remember if I had left them off or if I turned them off when I was out there. And then when I was out there, I was wondering, did the neighbors see me out here constantly going to check the light? Did they call the cops? Did I leave the light on again that time? I, you know, I can't go through that kind of stuff, especially not on a haunted road like this. That's a little too much for me. Oh, shut up, you pussy. Listen, I'm going to light this up, spark it, take a hit, give it to you, and you're going to take a hit too, man. We're out here, hey, to have fun. It's Friday. we got to cut loose, okay? You want to be paranoid on a ghost hunt. This is a long stretch of road. It's nothing but darkness. It's going to be boring as hell. We at least want to trick our minds into thinking we're going to see something crazy. Oh, no, all right. I'll, I'll take one hit. Let me just... <coughs> oh, that's pretty good. That's good stuff. What the hell? What are you having? An asthma attack or something? Here, man, take the joint and take a puff. Smooth but mellow taste. This is some good shit, Stuart. Okay, relax, Daddy. Let's start cruising down this road and see what we see. I heard everything from mafia hitmen dumping bodies in these woods to witches having crazy witch sex in these woods with, with animals. I mean, who knows what we're going to see? Could be a monster. Could be a man. Could be a chicken. Could be a ham. Could be a ghost. Oh. oh, it's kind of a spooky looking road. Look, look, look. I don't know, those signs say no trespassing. Uh, is, is this a private road? Uh, I don't want to get arrested or anything like that. I mean, you know, we don't want to get shot. If we're trespassing, we can get shot. Did I make my bed this morning? Oh, man. I wonder if I turn the coffee machine off. Uh, I mean, look, 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 at, look at that sign over there. It says, this is danger. Turn back. Yeah, are you sure this is a safe road? Whoa, 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 take it easy, Mr. Pothead. You're freaking yourself out again, man. 
relax, of course it says keep out, beware, turn back, do not enter. They put those signs up just to keep stupid kids away that get drunk and high and drive up and down the road all night, man. We're fine, there's no cops, there's nobody around. Look, if I turn off the headlights, nothing, man. If I turn them on, nothing, man. If I turn them off, nothing, man. If I turn them on, nothing, man. Oh, wow. Uh, all right, all right, I guess, I guess we're all right. And hey, if those signs are meant to keep stoner drunks out, at least we know we'll be the only ones back here. All right. Uh, keep, keep going, keep going. It's getting a little bendy up there, though. Bendy? What are you talking about, you drill get it? Wait, what? Hold on, we might not be the only ones out here, man. You see that shadowy figure? Is that a silhouette on the side of the road? We turn on these hot beams. Angles are Oh my god, it's a, it's a Nazi in full guard! What the hell? Oh, yeah, we, we, that is a Nazi, man. You gotta guess. We gotta get out of here. Oh man, I can't believe that. I did not just see a Nazi. Oh man, Yahtzee, Nazi, we're out of here. Hang on, I'm gonna gun it. What's that group of white stuff in the road in front of us? Somebody's blocking off the road? Is that a burning cross? God, it's the KKK, I'm swerving around them. What the hell is going on? What's in this oh, man. Weed, man? What the hell is that over there? Sweet baby Jesus, take me now. It's a group of witches. <laughs> and it looks like they're helping a mafia hitman just for the little body on the side of the road. We gotta get out of here. Oh, dear God, watch the road, watch the road. Go around. Oh, God, there's another group blocking the road. Who the hell could this be? Oh, my God, it's Pia. People for the ethical treatment of animals and clowns. I'm not gonna shave the whales, but I'm gonna take these people down. I'm gonna ram them. Did that, did that all really just happen, or is this, or is this weed laced with something? Oh my god. <sighs> Hit me another beer. This is worse than the time I went to Devil's Tower. Oh my god. I'll tell you something, Daddy-o. I've smoked a lot of weed in my day. That was a little too real for me. I mean, look, look at the front of my car, man. The fender's bent. Here's what we're gonna do, okay? Let's catch our breath. We're not going back that way. I'm not even gonna risk it. Hopefully, uh, this is not a... A, a, a one-way dead-end street. We're just gonna keep pushing through. It's a, I don't know, maybe five more miles up the road. We're just gonna keep going at a nice steady pace. Get the hell out of here, man. Haunted, not haunted, no matter what's going on here. I don't like it one bit. And we are going straight home after we finish these bees. Yeah, I, I remember looking at the, uh, the the map before we left. Uh, I think if you just go straight and then eventually towards the end you make a left on Old Man Tinker Road, I think that'll take you right out of here. We just gotta plow through forward. Oh man, that was that was creepy, but you know what? Looking back, we're all right. It's kind of fun when we when we look back on it, man. We, we were kind of scared like little babies there, little little pussy baby whiny brats. But it was funny. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I peed a little bit, but when I hit that Peter guy, that was funny. That was funny. His dumb face when he rolled right off the windshield. <laughs> I killed him. I killed him good. Wait. Oh wait, there's some lights coming at us. Oh God, please don't be an alien. Oh no, it's just a truck on the other side of the road. Uh. Looks a little narrow. It seems he's not going to be the courteous one here. Uh, you might you might have to try and squeeze over a bit. I don't know. There's a barrier in the road there. Hey, hey, you got to get over, man. Stu, Stu, you got to get over a little hey, bit. Hey, I got no way to go. I pulled over as far as I can. What is this guy drunk? How can he not see us? Hop the horn. Come on, man. What's, this guy's coming right at us. What the hell? What the hell? He's going to ram us. Uh, ah! It went right the, the the goddamn oh I pooped myself a little bit, little poop, little squirt. Oh, we're still alive. How's it? What happened? What the hell just happened? I I, I think that was a a ghost driving a tractor trailer. Holy shit. Oh, I thought I had a heart attack. A ghost a trailer just passed through us. I felt that icy chill go from my toes to my nose. I thought we was good instead, man. I can't believe this. I can't Oh god, what is that? What is that? Somebody's running to the car, man. Somebody's running to the car, man. We gotta get out of here. You see that person? I'm freaking out, man. I'm freaking out, man. I'm freaking out. Hey, thank goodness you guys stopped. Listen, uh, my car broke down a couple miles back that way. You might have passed it. Uh, I've, been, I've been looking to hitch a ride for some time down to the gas station at the other end of the road. Uh, would you guys be so kind as to uh, give me a lift? Oh my god, it's another ghost. Elbow him in the face. Break his nose. Oh. 
Oh, what the hell? I, I think you broke my nose. I, I'm, I'm not a ghost. What the hell? He, he's right. Look at him. He's, he's, he's bleeding. He's got, he's got to be human. We gotta let him in. What do you think, Stu? Oh, man, I can't leave anybody out here in good conscience. It's too, it's too crazy. It's too dark. It's too demented out there. Here, quick, hop in the car. We're, we're, we're getting out of here. ASAP. Uh, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Well, say, man, uh, happy to give you a ride. Don't you crack up one of those bees back there? Hand me one, because this is a crazy road, man. I mean, I, I don't know if you've been down here before or what, but there's a lot of rumors about this crazy road. I'm starting to believe in myself. Where, where are you from anyway, man? I don't recognize you. Uh, yeah, I actually I just moved here not too long ago. I, I live over on Bullet Bean Road. Bullet Bean Road, man? There's no houses up there. There's, there's nothing up there, man. I, I grew up in this town my whole life. You you must mean a different street. No, it's definitely Bullet Bean Road. Uh, nice little gated community there. Shady Acres. Hey, Stuart. Shady Acres. Isn't that the name of the cemetery? He said nice gated community. Cemetery. Dead. Ghost. Gated. A gay community say, uh, hey, say there, friend. I'm, I'm pretty sure that Shady Acres is nothing but a cemetery. Are you sure you're singing in the right place? Bullet Bean Road? Hey, listen, just because you guys found me stranded and lost out here doesn't mean I don't know where I live. I live in Shady Acres, all right? Say now, friend, uh, I didn't happen to catch your name. What was it again? I actually didn't say my name yet, but it's, uh, it's Rigby. Stuart, when's the last time you heard of someone named Rigby? Name sounds kind of... Colonial era to me, uh huh. I think he's lying to us. I think he's a ghost. And, uh, what are your names, guys? Oh, well, how rude of us. I'm sorry about that. My name is Stuart. People call me Big Stuart. And, uh, this is my best buddy, Warren. His names sound pretty familiar. What are you guys out here looking for ghosts? Better be careful. You don't want to become ghosts yourselves. Ooh. <laughs> well, that's kind of a very creepy thing to say, but, uh, you probably heard of us, man. We're the most popular two guys at John F. Kennedy High School. You know, football team, swim team, chess team. We're not on any of them, but we're very popular nonetheless. Huh. I didn't know there was a school called John F. Kennedy around here. I actually go to the Darius Rucker Academy. Warren, we both grew up here, man. I know for a fact there is no such school as Darius Rucker Academy. This guy might just be a ghost or something. What the hell are we supposed to do now, man? There's a freaking ghost in the back seat of the car, man. This is my brother's car, man. He said don't wreck it, don't get it smelly, and don't pick up any freaking ghost, man. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. I gotta get out of this car. You guys have to let me out right now. Uh, I'm off the back door. I gotta get out. Pull over. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, man. What, what are you screaming about? What, what's the matter? Why would we let you out right here? We're in the middle of nowhere. What? Why do you want to prove? I'm not stopping this car here in the middle of nowhere. What's going on back there? If the ghost in the back of the car says he wants to get out here, I suggest we let him get out and not question him. You don't want to end up a ghost, too. Listen, dummy. If we pull over to the side of the road, the ghost is going to steal our souls, steal our car, and make us become the eternal, ghostly, haunted hitchhikers coming up and down trying to get other people to give us a ride back to the world of the living. That's why I'm going to get him where we're supposed to get him, kick his ass out, and we will be alive. Oh, uh, hey there, Rigby. We are going to the gas station right now. <laughs> Just hold on tight, okay, buddy? I'm going to get you there ASAP as soon as possibly dies. No, no. You gotta let me out now. We're coming up on Breakneck Bend. You gotta let me out before Breakneck Bend. Wait, let me look at the map. There's no spot on this road called Breakneck Bend. Stuart, you ever heard of Breakneck Bend? I never heard of that. Listen, man, I never heard of nothing that this Rigby guy's talking about because he is a ghost, Rigby. You are dead, okay? Anything you're talking about must have dissolved years and years and years ago. You're from a cemetery, for God's sakes, man, okay? Just, 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 whatever you gotta do, leave us alone, man. I don't wanna die here tonight, okay? Stop haunting us, you evil, vile creature. You know what? Fuck you guys! Whoa! And the light of the moon shone down, scarier than anything I had ever seen. And just like a- Wait a minute, Uncle Rigby. You're trying to convince us that you were actually inside of the ghost car? You mean that you were hitchhiking and they picked you up? Come on, get real. That ain't true. That ain't true for nothing. Oh, it's all true. A lot of people made fun of me, taunted me, said they didn't believe me. But there are others in this town who do believe me. And as far as I know, I'm the only one that's ever gotten into the car. I was desperate. What was I supposed to do? 
I didn't expect to actually come across the ghosts. Well, I got a question. If that's true, and they died at Breakneck Point, how come they wouldn't have known about it? And if they've been driving me down that road for so many years, like everybody always says, you tell me they wouldn't have known about the name of the school or the housing development and stuff? I mean, come on. Everybody says they've been cruising that road for decades. It makes no sense. No, no. You see, little Armando, Stuart and Warren died back in the 60s. Breakneck Bend is named after them because that's where they broke their necks when they crashed. The Darius Rucker Academy, that was built in the 80s, and the John F. Kennedy School was shut down 10 years before that, as far as the cemetery is concerned. Shady Acres Cemetery sold half its land back in the 70s to a housing developer, and I was one of the first residents to move in. I've lived there ever since. See, those two ghosts, Stuart and Warren, they don't know they're dead, and their mind is still the 60s, and they've been driving up and down that road endlessly on repeat. Ever since the fatal crash that night. I guess I believe you. Uh, but Uncle Rigby, maybe you should start telling us the story. Turn around and keep your eyes on the road. It looks like he's gonna crash. Oh no, I got so into the story. I forgot I was driving the car. What? What? What?